In this lecture, let's learn how we could pass in arrays and objects to a component using props. So in order to do that, first of all, let's fix the error which we are getting here by removing this mutation here. So after removing that, your code should work absolutely fine and you should have no errors in the console. All right, so now let's learn how we could pass in an array to a prop. So let's first create an array here. So I'll create an array of, let's say, numbers and let's say I want to define seat numbers here. So I would say const, let's name it as seat numbers. And let's say this is simply an array of numbers like one, four, and let's say seven. All right. So just as we have passed in names over here, I could now also pass in the seat numbers as props here. So I could say seat numbers equals and over here, if I actually want to pass in an array which is currently stored in this const variable, what I have to do is over here, I have to use the JavaScript syntax and simply pass in seat numbers. So I'm passing in seat numbers as seat numbers. So let me type in seat numbers here. All right. So after passing in the seat numbers along with all the other props, I could now go ahead and access that particular prop here. So if I want to access that prop here, I could simply say props.seat number, or if you're actually destructuring everything here. So let's do that. So here I would say name, message, then emoji. And after that, we have the seat numbers. So over here, I could have a message. Over here, I could have the emoji. And over here, I have the name. Now in order to display the seat numbers, I could simply say seat numbers and that's it. So if I go back here, as you can see, those seat numbers are currently being displayed like that. And you will be able to notice that there's absolutely no comma or no separators in between these numbers. So we are going to learn how to loop through past array over here inside the props as well. Uh, but for that, we have to learn how to map through elements. So we are going to be learning that later. All right. So this is how you could pass in arrays and the values inside the array are going to be displayed here. Now let's pass in something more complex. So uh, let's say instead of passing in the data over here like that, like instead of passing in the person details here, uh, let's say you want to create a person object which actually contains the person's name, uh, the person's seat numbers, and also the specific message related to that particular person. So over here, I'll actually create an object. So now let's learn how to pass in entire objects to props. So here I would say const, uh, let's say person, and this is going to be an object. These object is going to have certain attributes. So let's say name. So I would say name is Rob. I would define the message here itself as hi there. And then uh, let's say I'll use an emoji here, which is this hi symbol. And after that, uh, let's also pass in an array to this particular object. Let's also pass in seat numbers here. And the seat numbers is going to be an array 1, 4, 7. All right. So after this, let's get rid of this one because we don't need it. And over here now, instead of passing all of those details like that, I could simply go ahead and now pass in a single object called as person. So here I would say hello. And then I would pass in a prop as person equals and this entire person object. So once I have passed in the person object, now the question is what exactly would you receive here? So to keep things simple, uh, let's simply receive the props. So here I would say props. And over here, instead of the message, if I now want to access the message, I have to say props. And inside the props object, we actually have the person object passed in. So props dot person and then dot message. So I have to do a similar thing with everything. So you have to say props.person.message, uh, then props.person.emoji, then you have to say props.person.name, then again you have to say prop dot or props.person.seat numbers. All right, if you do that, and now if you go back here, you should be able to get the same thing over here as well. So this is one way of accessing the past object here. Now let's try destructuring this and let's see how destructuring works in this case. So as you're passing in the person object, 
what I could do now is that I could simply go ahead, go up over here, and instead of getting the props here, I could directly get person. So if I get person here, now I could get rid of the props from here and I could say person.message. I could say person.emoji, person.name, and then I could say person.seat number. And we are able to do that because we have already destructured that prop here. So if I go back, as you can see, this still works absolutely fine. So this is how you could go ahead and pass in arrays as props and then pass in objects as props. Now, what you could also do is you could also pass in arrays of objects as well, which we are going to discuss in the later part of this course. But in the next lecture, now let's learn how we could actually map through a given array which we have. So we are not going to map through this array because it's going to be a lot complicated. So we are going to be first mapping through a simple array and kind of learn how we could display every single element of an array over here inside the component. So right now we have displayed this array, but the array elements kind of appear combined together. So this seems like it's not an array, but instead it looks like a string. But in the next lecture, let's learn how we could render arrays or lists in React. So let's learn about that in the next one.